Hey, I'm Jared Lanham and welcome to Refiner's Forge. So a couple months ago, I posted pictures of this hook online, this coat and hat hook, and I got a lot of questions about how I did the ball end and how I made the hook. And so I thought I'd do an instructional video about it. So the, uh, the tools we're gonna use today is a hammer. I'm probably gonna use a couple different hammers, but you can get away with just one quite easily. A center punch for marking the holes where we're gonna put uh, the holes for the screws. Uh, a regular punch for punching the holes for the screws. And then a bolster plate for when we punch the holes. So the material we're gonna use is six inches of three eighths inch square. All right, let's get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're working on the far side of the anvil and we're gonna hang about just a little bit more than a cube of material off the far side. And we're gonna do a double set down. So with the corner face of your hammer and the corner of the anvil, and do that double set down there. And we're gonna turn 90 degrees and try to hit it in the uh, same spot there and get that, uh, creating that shoulder. And just keep, uh, I'm gonna straighten it out here a little bit and keep rotating it. So I'm gonna take another heat to find the shoulder a little bit and then we're gonna start working the ball. All right, we're coming back to the far side of the edge of the anvil again. See if I can define the shoulder a little better, get my hammer strikes a little bit better here. All right, so now I'm going to start working those corners in up against the side, cor uh, side of the anvil and start pushing those corners in here. So you can see where I'm at here. All right, so now I'm going to come to the face of the anvil and start rounding it up some. And if you develop any cold shunts, it's really not a big deal on this ball. You can just forge them in, and if you really want to close them up, you can take a, a welding heat in the forge and weld it all together. It's not, not really structural. All right, so I'm just going to straighten everything a little bit here. So before I draw this, this section out, I'm going to flip it around and make the ball on the other end, just because it's easier to hold my tongs that way. So. We're going to go back to the forge and take another heat. All right, so we're going to create the ball on the other end again. So again, we're on the far side of the anvil, a little more than a cube of material hanging over. Going to do that double set down. So we're rotating it 90 degrees. Come back. Just straightening things out there. I'm going to start walk now I'm going to start working that ball. Pushing the corners in, rotating 90 degrees each time. So I'm going to take another heat and finish that ball up. All right. Again, coming to the far side of the anvil, I'm going to finish making this ball. All right. Now I'm coming to the face of the anvil. I'm going to kind of start rounding it here. And I'm tipping it up and working those inside, that inside shoulder a little bit, pushing those corners in some. And again, just trying to smooth everything out a little bit. It's kind of a heavy, it's a little over three pound hammer I'm using. I kind of like the heavier weight uh, for this because I can do smaller, more controlled blows and be more effective the lighter blows, but that's just a personal preference. So, all right, so next we're going to work on drawing this out here. All right, let's go back to the forge. All right, I'm going to use this combination square here to mark one inch over the side of the anvil uh, from this close shoulder here. So I've got a rounding hammer now. I'm going to use that to draw out the material. Come 
come back about pull over halfway and draw it out a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to kind of smooth everything out. Move over here. Alright, so I'm going to grab me a silver pencil here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the shoulder of the ball to where my taper stops. Make a little mark on my anvil here. And that way when I do the next side I can make sure it's even. So that's where my so the next heat we're gonna we're gonna round out this uh, square taper here. Alright, so the face of my anvil is a little too wide for here and gets away my thong, so I'm gonna use a step of the anvil here and I'm knocking off these corners. I'm using the flat side of my hammer, the flat face, I should say. I'm going to come back here and keep rounding everything. Planishing, smoothing it out. Over here, kind of straighten that ball out. Alright, so that side is done. So now we're going to move and uh, over to the other side and draw that out. Alright, again, I'm using the combination square, measuring out one inch from the edge of my anvil to the near shoulder. Just using the round, round uh, face of my hammer, drawing out the material. Alright, check my mark here. Yeah, I'm pretty close. So I'm going to smooth everything out. I need to draw just a little bit more. So while I'm smoothing, I'll use the flat side of my hammer, kind of half on, half off blows on the edge of the uh, anvil. Just kind of draw it out just a touch more as I'm smoothing, planishing, if you will. And it looks like I'm just about right on my mark there, even with the other side. So that's good. All right, so now we're going to take another heat. I'm going to round it out. All right, again, I'm going to be working on a step of the anvil here using the flat side of my hammer, and I'm going to be rounding out this taper here. All right, so we got both ends drawn out there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark with my center punch where I'm going to punch my holes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, just kind of get a mark there. centered. Make a second one here. That one's a little bit off, so I'm going to try to move that, that punch mark a little bit. Center it up some. Alright. So we're going to take another heat and we're going to, I'm going to recess these punches uh, with the uh, center punch and then that way when we put screws in there the screws will sit flush so I'll recess it uh, and then we'll uh, probably take another heat and then punch the holes all right so we're taking the center punch and we're going to recess these holes here the camera shot. Mm -hmm. All right, I got a little heat left, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start the punch from this side. I'm 
going to flatten them back out, a little more heat, and finish those, hole, finish those holes off. Backside here. Flip it back over. Punch from the back. Finish the punch from the front side. Of course, uh, you could always drill these after recessing them. That's what I typically do if I'm going to make a lot of them. But if you don't have a drill or you want to do it the traditional way, use that punch and that slug didn't quite come all the way out. So. We got our holes punched, and uh, next heat we're going to form the hook over the horn of the anvil. Just going to straighten this out a little bit here. All right, let's take another heat. All right, so we're going to start forming that hook here. Side off a little bit because I just want to curl that right up against the uh, ball here a little bit. There we go. Pretty happy with that shape there. We've got our hook formed. And so the next heat, we're going to go to the vise. And um, so this would be for your coat. And we're going to do the, the hat part of the hook up top. Let's take another heat. All right, so we're coming to the vise. We got it in the vise just above where the top screw hole is. Clamp it down. I've got the round side of my smaller rounding hammer here. And I'm pushing it out and give it a little twirl. I kind of want it even in line with the hook below it. It doesn't have to be. That's just kind of where I like it. So, let's take it out, look at it. Go to the anvil, see if we need to straighten it out at all. Actually, it looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty straight there. Alright, so I'm going to heat it up just a little bit, brush it off, and then we'll uh, dunk it in some boiled linseed oil to give it a nice finish and protect, uh, protect the metal. So. All right, so we're going to brush this sucker off. You just kind of notice that bottom 
bottom hook is just a little bit out of what I want it to be, so I'm just going to adjust it real quick. There we go. That's good. And so now I'm going to grab my boiled linseed oil and dip that in there. So I hope this really helped out, and uh, um, if you got any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to get back to you and help you out any way I can. Hey, if you like this video, I uh, really appreciate it. If you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and again, I'm Jared Lanham, uh, and thank you for joining me at Refiner's Forge, and we'll see you next time.